I have a bowl of water that I filled up halfway, and I want to see if some of my toys will sink or float. Here are some toys that I found. Can you guess which ones will sink and which ones will float? Let's see. First, I have a sheep. What color is my sheep? That's right, it's blue. A sheep says, <coughs> Do you think my sheep will sink or float when I put it in? Let's see. The sheep floats. It floats on top of the water. Next, I have a car. A car goes vroom, vroom. <coughs> If I put the car in the water, do you think it will sink or float? Let's find out. The car sinks to the very bottom. Let's see that again. The car sinks. Next, I have a strawberry. What color is my strawberry? That's right, it's red. Red is spelled R-E-D. If I put my strawberry in the water, do you think it will sink or float? Shout it out. Let's see. The strawberry floats. The strawberry floats in the water. Hello. Here is my puppy friend. My puppy friend is wearing an orange hat. What sound does a puppy make? Uh. Woof, woof, hello. Do you think my puppy will sink or float when I put him in the water? Let's find out. The puppy sinks. The puppy sinks to the very bottom. There he is. Last, I have a coin. Can you see what number is on the coin? That's right, it's the number one. The coin has some holes in it. Do you think that will make it sink or float? Let's find out. The coin floats. The coin stays on top and floats in the water. Can you see the bird? The bird is in the bird cage. Let's take her out. Now the bird is out of the birdcage. Let's put her back in. There she goes. The bird is back in the birdcage. Let's take her out one more time. The bird is out of the birdcage. In and out are opposites because they're different. I have a puzzle of shapes. And I have some pieces that are missing. How many pieces are missing from my puzzle? One, two, and three. All of the puzzle pieces that are missing are rounded shapes. They have rounded edges. Can you help me choose which puzzle piece goes where? Let's start with this one. What shape is this? It has one long rounded side. That's right, it's a circle. What color is the circle? It's green. Can you find a place for the circle on our puzzle? Here? Hmm, no, that doesn't look like it. Maybe right here. Let's see. It's a perfect fit. What shape is this? This shape also has one long rounded side, but it also has one straight side. It's kind of like a circle, but not a full circle. It's called a semicircle. Where will the semicircle go? Should we put it here or here? I see the one long straight side in this puzzle area, so let's try putting our puzzle piece there. Great job. Do you know what color that semicircle is? It's red. We have one shape left. This shape also has one long rounded side. It's kind of like a circle, but it's a little bit longer. Do you know what shape this is? That's right, it's an oval. What color is the oval? It's pink. This must be our last shape to finish our puzzle. 
It fits. Now all of our shapes have a home. Can you help me to count and connect my shakers? Do you see the pink shaker? What does it sound like? How about the brown shaker? What does the brown shaker sound like? What happens when we connect them? Now let's listen. They got louder when we connected them. Which one should we add next? Let's add the purple shaker. Let's add it on top of the brown shaker and see what they sound like. They're getting even louder. How many shakers have we connected now? One, two, three. Let's add the yellow shaker on top. Now what would they sound like? They're getting louder. We have one shaker left. What color is it? It's blue. How many shakers have we connected? One, two, three, four, and five. Do you think they're gonna sound really loud when we shake them? Let's see. Yep, they're really loud now. Let's open up our slime. What does it sound like? Slime makes funny sounds. Let's stretch it. Wow. Let's squish it. Cool. Can you help me with this puzzle? I see a face. So this must be some sort of animal. And I see the color orange on all four pieces. Let's see if the pieces fit together. Which one should we look at first? Great idea. Let's look at the puzzle piece that has the face. I see two eyes, a nose, and a mouth. He's eating some leaves. He has one spike on his nose, and it looks like he has two spikes on his forehead. Do you see any other pieces that maybe have the rest of the two spikes? When we're putting together a puzzle, it's helpful to look for things that are similar or the same. Do you see the two spikes anywhere? On this piece here, let's turn the piece around and see if they fit together. <gasps> they do, they do fit together. What else do you see on this piece? I see some orange spikes and I also see some green leaves. What other puzzle piece do you see that has orange spikes and green leaves? This one here? I see it too. I see orange spikes and green leaves. Let's see if they connect together. It's a perfect fit. There's one piece left. Let's see what's on it. It's orange with three legs. And here's the fourth leg. Let's see if the puzzle pieces fit together. They do! Great job helping me with the puzzle. Let's fasten all of the straps. <laughs> 